I had to grab my camera. You wait till you see this place. And let me tell you, I wasn't expecting this trip to be so amazing, driving off in weather like this. Heading north, I made a stop and found myself in an amazing town. Germany always stuns me just when I think it can't surprise me anymore that I've got used to these gorgeous places. Just being there, this happens. I can't believe it. This is the... Well, of course, it's the Harthaus, the town hall. And the town is Marktbreit in Bavaria. This town hall was begun in 1579 by Hans Kieseport, a master builder and apparently a strong swordsman to boot. He built some of the most important secular buildings of the Franconian Renaissance, of which this incredible building is one. Isn't it amazing? I wonder who that guy is up there. That guy is St. Georg, St. George. Boatmen sailing along the river Main would see this figure and know that they needed to pay a toll in Marktpreit. The first building that struck me though was this one, known as Zur Kohe. I didn't know it at the time, but the father of a famous German doctor worked in this building, built in 1717 in the Würzburger Baroque style. His son, Dr. Aloysius Alzheimer, was born in Marktpreit in 1864 and the house in which he was born is now a memorial and meeting venue. And this hotel, Hotel Löwen, is the second oldest Gasthaus, guest house, in Bavaria, counting King Ludwig I among its guests. This arched tunnel is the Mine Tor, the Mine Gate. This is the side of the Rathaus, where the river Breitbach flows into the mine. I just was standing on the other side of this where I just showed you, and I'll show you the images. But you won't be able to see me waving. I can't film over there and sit here and wave at you at the same time. I'm sorry, I'm in a really silly mood, but it's just so delightful here. It's unbelievable. When I saw this house, I actually thought, am I in Hordenburg? No wonder they call this the Malerwinkel, the painter's angle. I wonder sometimes if these towns adapted one plan to suit their particular topography or used the same architect. The similarities crop up every now and then. Maybe these architects toured the country like I do, giving concerts, but they left a longer lasting mark on Germany. One stunning street after another made me giddy walking around Marktbreit. Turn a corner and you see and hear the Sankt Nikolai, Saint Nikolai Protestant Church with its 14th century tower. The 
famous Seimsheim Castle, Schloss Marktbreit, dates back to 1580. Today it houses the town's library and archive. And you can go for dinner or drinks here. I really wish I could go in there now and have something delicious. But I've got about another five hours to go to get to Meppen tonight. But I feel so lucky to have been able to run around Marktbreit and film it for you. It's not just typical Germany. You find a jewel around every corner. Apparently it's not over. I should go over here and I'll take you with me. I have a soft spot for the river Main. I spent one of the nicest summers of my life staying in Klingenberg am Main with the most lovely people. It was a glorious summer and staying on the banks of this beautiful river surrounded by fairy tale Germany bathed in golden light and drinking golden German wine makes for a happy memory. When my van is ready, I know who I want to visit first. And I've just spotted where the camper vans are parked overnight here. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? My journey north continued and I experienced a surprise and a shock before I got home. So don't forget to subscribe so I know you'll be watching. I'll be sharing those two very different places in my next video, plus a stunning castle town after that. And of course, my first trip to German campsites in my self-converted Wohnmobil camper van will be coming up in the next weeks. So show the subscribe button some love as I'd love to share the fun with you. I hope it's just about light enough for me to use this last shot, but oh, what a wonderful golden hour to have spent in Marktbreit. I was so excited because it was just so beautiful. And as usual, lots of love from Germany, this time in Franken, in Marktbreit. See you soon, bye.